What's good, YouTubers? King Ali back at it once again, Royalty Concepts TV. Today's sneaker review is going to be these Nike Zoom BB NXT. This is the, I want to say, raw authentic colorway. I think a while back that was the name I saw, like surfacing around it. Uh, let me see. Hyperviolet colorway. This is the hyperviolet. Got some turquoise on the medial side. But we'll get to the colors later. Anyway, let's just talk about the shoe. So this is a basketball shoe. That's what the BB stands for, of course. And um, retail is 180. I got these at the Nike outlet a couple of days back. Um, I've seen a few videos on this shoe, a few reviews. I'm always interested when Nike drops like a, a new basketball shoe, like a new tech shoe, whatever, like to implement the technology is a little bit different, in, you know, in the shoe or whatnot. And, um, the black and bolt ones, I want those. I wanted those, but I didn't see them in store. I just saw that they were on Nike.com. I think they don't sell for like 110 or something like that. These I got for 80 bucks. So, you know, I went to the outlet. They were in hand. I was able to try them on. So I was like, you know, let me just take this color home real quick and see how I feel about them. Um, as far as the colorway, I like the colorway. You got like a hyperviolet translucent outsole and then the turquoise on the other side of it. You have a TPU plate right here. And by the way, traction is really good on these, like really, really squeaky. When I was trying them on, it was like gripping the hell out of the floor. And this is the medial side, turquoise with a little bit of light blue right there. This is a good spring summer shoe. Uh, that's typically why I bought them. Uh, mainly for the colors. I wish it would have been a black base shoe instead of a white, but this is cool wear these to the beach or whatever man but uh the thing about it is keeping these clean that's the only thing i'm worried about with this like you got to really keep these clean man this is a lot of white to try to keep clean not even so much the midsole but just the like the upper then you got the entire tongue the entire inside is white i usually don't do like all white shoes like that but <clears throat> you know whatever as far as cushion uh, I want to say they're not bad. They're not bad. I mean, I'm not hooping in these as I'm really doing these casually, but like they're, they're cushion pretty well. For 180, you could probably get something better if you're just going for something casual. You could probably just get you some React Elements or something like that. Again, I was just curious with this particular shoe, and then the colorway is what got me. Um, The Zoom Pods, I really couldn't feel it. I wish they would have made them like top loaded or something like that. Um, or at least maybe like cord out the, the four foot area of the midsole so you can step directly on it. But um, I mean, it's okay. It's an okay shoe. You know what I mean? I wouldn't pay retail for them. I pay $80, $80 for them. So 80 bucks is, isn't bad for something like this. But then again, like I got other sneakers in it, man. Like with these colors in it. I don't necessarily need these. So, like I say, I'm still trying to figure out if if I want to keep them or not. I think the KD, not the KD, the PG5s coming out are coming out this week. I think in a few days. And I actually wanted to do a Nike ID version. I already got the, the colorways picked out and everything. I got it saved into my cart or whatever. So I might be taking these back, man, and just add some money to it and just jump on those PG-5s. But again, you know, if you like this shoe, if you like the style of it, you like the color, if you want to hoop in them, again, it's better hooping shoes. But if you just wanted to check this shoe out for whatever reason, man, I would say check out the Nike outlets or check um, Nike.com. They should be on sale. But this colorway in particular, this is just a nice colorway. I just wish they would have probably put more, just did a little bit more with the colors as far as like the upper goes. But anyway, man, that's pretty much it on this video. Guys, stay tuned. I know I've been saying it. It's coming real soon. February, I'm relaunching my clothing line. I will have shirts to match all the sneakers, man. You do everything custom to order. Uh, this would be a dope t-shirt. I could make a dope t-shirt with this. But still getting things in order, man. Got a lot of equipment still coming in. 
it's just taking time you know so um if you want to stay up to date with my website and when it's coming go to my ig at the crib tees that's t-h-e-c-r-i-b-t-e-e-s look for the miami hurricane logo that'll be me and also follow me at lg at royalty concepts tv i got two ig pages so check that out as well but anyways i appreciate you guys watching comment uh subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell hit that thumbs up hit the thumbs down if you didn't like the video and tell me if you got these man tell me what you think about these uh i think the thing the question for me is was this shoe necessary i think that's what it's coming down to is this a necessary shoe to have or you know could have done better maybe but anyway i appreciate you guys watching man i'm out of here